This week, voters are starting to decide what candidates they want to represent them. Unions endorse a progressive candidate. That matters to me because that shows that the person interviewed with them, that they must have believed in the same ideals that they do. Endorsements can help get a candidate noticed, but they can also get them dismissed by voters. If it's coming from someone who's credible, then it means something. If it's not, then it doesn't mean anything at all to me. Republican political strategist Stan Barnes believes this year only two endorsements really matter. Is this the greatest president we've ever known? Former President Donald Trump. There's only one great candidate for governor this year, Karen Taylor Robeson. And Arizona Governor Doug Ducey. The Trump endorsement in the Republican primary is very valuable. The Ducey endorsement of Karen Taylor Robeson has its value, but on the scale is not as high or valuable as the Trump endorsement. Barnes says Ducey's endorsement can help raise money, but Trump can deliver voter excitement. And with voters inundated with information, hearing from somebody they know can be a difference maker. They don't trust themselves to cull through all that information and to make a, a judgment. So they're voting with their heart and not their head. Barnes says it's rare to see a sitting governor take sides in a primary, and even rarer for a former president to endorse candidates down ballot, which Trump is doing in Arizona. Will it work? A question to be answered once the votes are counted. Mark Phillips, ABC 15, Arizona. Tomorrow we are going in-depth with everything you need to know for primary elections. Join us for an all-day special. It starts at 4.30.